Hello. Thank you very much for volunteering for Gabriel de la Gonja's uh, campaign for House District 26. Uh, if you have not already received this email, you may be receiving in the next few minutes. But once you have that, this email, uh, this, is, this contains an important uh, link, uh, open virtual phone bank, vpb.com, uh, and it is followed by a code. Uh, you can copy this link and open up in a browser. This will bring you to this page. If you are uh, accessing this uh, link for the first time, and when you click on Get Started, it will ask you to log in. If you do not already have a username and password, you need to create an Action ID account. So you're going to click at this link. It will bring you to this page where it will ask you for your email address and the password that you want to set your first name, last name, and the phone number. And you also need to check this box and this link will become um, enabled. At this point, uh, after your account has been created, you can go back and log in with that ID. It may send uh, a confirmation code towards your phone uh, just to make sure that it is you. Uh, but once you log in, uh, it will bring you back to this page where it says get started. So the moment you hit this button called get started, it will take you to this uh, script uh, where it shows you the name of the voter, the phone number, and age and gender of this voter. If you, for some reason, are not able to reach this person, uh, if there was a voicemail, uh, or or another uh, situation, you can click this link. And when you click this link, it is going to give you these options. Uh, so if you leave a voicemail, you are going to select this, save and next call. You have already received a script uh, that includes uh, the script for voicemail. So you are going to say, hello, this is, and state your name. Uh, calling on behalf of Gabriel Adilakonja, running for House District 26. He's asking for your support in the 2020 primary election on September 15th. If you have any questions, please email him at info at gabrieladilagonja.com or call 302-442-8711 and have a wonderful day. And you can, at that point, you can close the phone. If somebody picks up the phone, in that case, uh, I would suggest that you keep this form open at all times. If you copy this link and go to your browser window, open up another uh, tab and paste this uh, link, it is going to bring you towards this page. Uh, this is our notes taking uh, page you should write your name, name of the voter. Remember, name of the voter is already present on this page. So you're going to just copy this name, go to the next, uh, write down, of course, your name, and then write down the name of the voter and voter's phone number. Um, of course, it won't take uh, these special characters, so you need to remove those special characters and this is ready. You may also want to ask for the email address of this person. We, although you have the name and the phone number, you do not have the email address uh, for this voter. So if they provide you this email address, that would be nice. If they do not provide that, that's okay. You can write down your notes, uh, questions, feedback, whatever conversation you had with this particular person. Uh, if there is a need to get back to this person and you can submit. Coming back to the page, uh, if you are able to speak with the person, uh, you know, uh, so before that, uh, here are the instructions for you. Uh, primary voting day, 
is September 15th. Suggested call times Saturday, uh, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday to Sunday uh, evening uh, would be uh, it would be 5 p.m. to 8:30 p.m. Uh, actually, this should say Sunday to Monday. So I will have it fixed in a little bit. Um, and uh, any documentation and notes, as I already informed you, use that link from the email, from the documentation uh, script uh, to document anything. So leave a voice script, use conversational script. At the end of the call, you can see the save and next call button is disabled because you have to answer this question. You don't have to specifically ask this question to the voter, but um, based on your conversation, uh, if you feel that this person is going to definitely vote uh, or not vote, you can um, you can select an option from this. As soon as you select this option, any of these options, uh, this button will become enabled and you can save and, and click next call. Once you do that, this person will not be presented to any other uh, volunteer. However, if you skip this person, in that case, this person will be presented to another volunteer. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, here's the, the conversational script. Uh, hello, this is, state your name, and I am calling on behalf of Gabriel Adilakonja. He wants to thank you for your active participation in the democratic political process. He is running for State House District 26. He has been working in our community for over 10 years. Can Gabriel count on your support on September 15th? If the answer is yes, you say thank you. We are counting on your support. And you can hang up after that. If the answer to this question, can, can Gabriel count on your support on September 15th, is no, you can ask them, can I answer any questions for you? Uh, you know, if they have any question. If the answer is no, there's no question. You can just say thank you and hang up. If the if you get a feeling that from the answer that the person is undecided, you can say, please allow me to provide you a bit more information on Gabriel. Gabriel is a community leader. He's a war veteran, um, is a youth mentor, is a father, husband. He's a hardworking person who's heart ble bleeds for the least privileged in our community. And he needs your support to represent the interests of common people like ourselves. Uh, we will highly appreciate if you can volunteer for Gabriel's campaign. Would you be willing to volunteer? If the answer is yes, uh, note down this uh, information once again uh, in this form uh, that we had created. And in the notes, you can just write down that the person is willing to volunteer. Uh, you can also ask, would you like us to deliver a yard sign for you? And you can let them know that we'll start delivering those in mid-July. Uh, in the meanwhile, if, you, if the person asks you a question that you cannot answer, you don't know the answer to that question, uh, you tell them uh, that, um, that I will get back to you uh, with more information uh, and then immediately uh, uh, fill out that form. And that's it. You know, thank you for your support. And you move on to the next person. Thank you.